Hi again, everybody. You're going to get uh, two videos in one day, and tomorrow I'll post uh, part two of the switching. Um, I want to do a quick follow-up on some of the um, things I talked about earlier today. Since no one really got upset over it, matter of fact, I got compliments on it, uh, that was good. Again, it's your railroad. You run the cars you want to run at the speeds you want to run them, and I'm not going to say a word, but... Just want to let you know some of the information that I know that I've done some research on and things. So I'm going to focus on box cars, but first the general car rule. So any car built before July 1974 uh, was allowed to have 40 years of service, which would have expired in 2014. But if they rebuilt it, they could have another 10 years. So 2024, any car built before July 1974, off the rails. No longer. Now, it could be like in a museum. It could be like a work train. It's not allowed to interchange surface, revenue surface. Okay. Any car built after July 1974 was good for 50 years. And with rebuilding, it could be allowed another 15 years. So there's tons of those still around. Most of the cars around today, you know, unless they're like a recent innovation, were built in like the 70s and 80s. Um, I want to talk about roof locks, specifically on box cars, because roof locks are allowed on covered hoppers. Covered hoppers, they have hatches on top. People have to be able to access those hatches to load, uh, you know, like grain and things, things like that. So this doesn't apply to covered hoppers. Box cars. Box cars had roof walks mandatory until 1966. After that, they were supposed to be removed. No new box cars were built after 1966 with roof walks. The initial date for removing the roof walks was 1974, but they kept pushing it back. And then finally, by 1982, roof walks were not allowed in interchange service. Now, you can still, like I said, see one on a work train, something like that. And I have some boxcars with roof walks that I run because I'm in that time period. But um, really, by 1982, they were getting scarce. 99% um, of the cars you'd see in trains did not have roof walks, boxcars. These stencils that you can see, I always call them lube plates. These black stencils, and they've changed over the years. Uh, they first started appearing in 1972, and they've got information about like the you know when the the car was serviced, when it was built, when it was uh, you know what type of bearings it has, all this kind of stuff. But in 1972, they started appearing, and they were required on every car after 1979. So this car, these two cars, I had to decal. I had to put those, you know, Microscale makes decals for them. So I had to put those on there. And I've had, so you have to watch that. If you say, I'm modeling today or the 1990s, and you have a car that doesn't have those, then, you know, it's wrong. Again, I'm not, I don't care, you know, but I'm just pointing it out to you. Um, the reflective strips that you see today, I don't have an example to show you because I don't, model that period but the reflective strips you see on the cars they're really prominent on tank cars seems like the yellow reflective strips they were required to be put on every car after 2005 uh, all new cars built after 2005 and everything on the rails was required to have them by 2015 so if you say you're modeling today there's not a car in my railroad that you could run on your layout um, now, we all know Roy Smith down in Panama, uh, great model railroad, a great guy. That's guy, you know, has a couple really good video shows. And I'm sure that Justin Case has already told him this, but uh, he's trying to get freight cars for, to, you know, start operations. Um, now, I don't know what type of freight cars Roy's going to get. Again, no matter what he gets, it doesn't matter to me. I'm still going to watch his videos because he has some awesome scenery and he's just a great personality, a great guy. But there's not a car in my railroad that I said, oh, I'm going to send it to Roy. That, that he could really run on his railroad if he was trying to follow, if he was trying to say, I'm modeling today. I'm modeling the Union Pacific today. 
I don't have any Union Pacific cars. I need to buy one. Um, but even if I did, it still would not be relevant for his railroad because unless it had the reflective strips on it and it had the, you know, uh, consolidated stencils or the lube plates on it, it's really, yeah. so if you're going to model today, you know, that, those are some easy giveaways. Um, and I'm just doing this for, you know, newcomers that, you know, again, I don't care <laughs> what you run, but I've had to go in and, and put decals on a lot of things. And I may still have some, you know, I may, because uh, I didn't even look at the cars I bought yesterday. I'll have to look at those Milwaukee Road cars, like the Atherin cars, and see if they've got the stencils on them. If not, I'll put the stencils on them, because I've, I've got decals. So that's just some more... Uh, things to think about, you know, when you choose your era, you know, again, the era I have is, you know, 75 to 85, almost anything goes. I can still have 40 foot books, box cars with roof walks on them. As long as they have that stencil, you know, I'm good. But if I go buy a car, that has got decal or the reflective strips on it. Yeah, you know, that, that blew that out of the water. Um, so I'm mainly talking about, you know, box cars when I'm talking about roof walks, but uh, anyhow, just some things to think about if uh, you know, if you really care about this stuff. If you just want to run trains, then and you you want to run trains from your favorite railroad, then you know, then more power to you. And you know, I look forward to seeing your your videos. And um, but that's uh, this is just some tips for some people that you know may not know this. If you have any questions or comments? Let me know. And uh, always happy to answer answer questions and. Uh, I love, you know, comments. I respond to every one. So uh, tomorrow I will uh, give an up, do part two of the switching, and I'll give a chance update uh, simply because he's had a couple rough days, but today's been better, and so I don't want to, you know, post it today and then find, you know, cause it's, you know, find I have a rough night or something. So I'll give you the update uh, tomorrow on chance, but. Today was actually the uh, best day he's had in a while. So everybody stay safe.